Hello, my name is John Lira, and welcome to our next presentation, Informatica Power Center Dynamic Files Using the Transaction Control Transformation. In today's topic, what I want to do is, given a flat file with customer data, create a power center mapping to read the data and generate dynamic flat files for each data as it is grouped. Techniques used will be the file output port in the target source definition, the concept of grouping so we can create output data, and then introduce the transaction control transformation. This is the data that I will be processing. A customer list of files, as you can see, first name, customer number, last name, city. And the goal is to have the mapping generate the necessary flat files in which all the customers who live in the same city will be stored. So San Francisco will have two records, Joe Smith from San Francisco and John Lira. Dallas will only have one, Jane Doe. So let us go to the demo now. Well, now let's continue the demo. Let's see, I have Informatica Power Center version 9. And what you see here on the screen is there's two mappings. One is a partial solution and the other one is the complete solution. Let me begin with the partial one. In this mapping, I have a source definition, a source qualifier, and a target definition. The source definition is the data set that I was describing in the presentation. From that, I have made a target definition. In the target definition, the key thing is that we need to add a port for file name. How did I do this? In the target definition, you go to the extreme right and you click on Add File Name column in this table. You can see right there. This will generate a port, port number five, called File Name. That's that's one of the things we got to do. Now we can build the mapping. In this mapping, you'll see that I have the data set of the data we have in source qualifier and a target definition. Now, what is going to be used for File Name? In my example I'm using city. I want city to be the name of the file. Now remember this solution is incomplete. So let me go ahead and run this and show you what this will do. Again here's the uh, let me open up the right workflow and go ahead and run this and we'll see the output from it. Okay and let me go to InfoShare in the targets you notice that there's a file called San Francisco. I open it up just using Notepad and look what's there. The entire data set that I read in. Now the file name is San Francisco. It was able to pick up the first city name and use that as a file name. Obviously this is not what, you, what we want but we're halfway there. So let's close this, fix the solution and let's see what I need to do to fix this. Go back to designer and I've already completed the solution. It's the one that requires the transaction control transformation. Now it's the same solution as before but I've added the sorter. That's the transformation that will allow us to group data. The, the FX which will set a flag of when we are no longer in the same set of data and the transaction control transformation that actually commits the data or continues reading the next record. So let's look at sorter. Let me arrange all. And uh, if we look at sorter, pretty straightforward. The ports, since I'm interested based on the business requirements to sort it by city, I select city as the key, ascending order. Now to the expression transformation, I send city to it and let's go inside of this. Notice input port is city. The output is something called O output new city flag. This flag will be a 0 or 1. Let's go look at the logic. So when I go to the ports, I have the city coming in. I have a flag called V new city flag, V previous flag set to city, and the output one which will be the output of the flag. So the key thing here is the expression and what we have here, if city is equal to the previous city value, return a zero, else a one. Therefore, 
as long as I'm in the same group of data, I will be returning a zero, otherwise a one. I will send that flag over to the transformation transformation along with the rest of the data. Let's go inside of it, ports, properties, and the condition here. So if the new city flag, which can be a zero or one, in this case, if it is a one, I want to commit the group. If it is not a one, which means I'm still in the same group of data, go ahead and continue reading the rest of the data. That's it. So once I process that, give it to the target, go ahead and run this. And when I run this, I've, I already created the workflow. Then when this runs, let's go to the target. Notice I have San Francisco, San Diego, Sacramento, Portland, and Dallas. I also have the output file, but we're not interested in that since the data we want is supposed to be in their respective files. San Francisco had two records. Let's open it up and see. There it is, Joe Smith and John Lira. Dallas, if we recall, had only one record. So let's just quickly open this. Should have one. And the rest. Okay, so let's go back and finish this. And there goes the solution. Thank you very much. This is John Lira. And please don't forget to subscribe.